did you know that a cutlass can not only cut grasses, but it can also be used to dig the floor? Which, who, what, who's, where, whom, and on, can not only ask questions, they can also be used to mark the clauses. If such words are used within the clauses, they are relative clauses. Both interrogative pronoun and relative pronoun share the same example in some respects. They're used differently. Now, the interrogative pronouns ask questions and occur at the beginning of a sentence, while the relative pronoun define the noun that follow and occur in the middle of a sentence. Compare the following sentences. Which do you prefer? That's an interrogative pronoun. I have found the pen which you gave me. That's a relative pronoun. Who are you? That's quite an interrogative pronoun. I saw the boy who stole my money. That's a relative pronoun. I said earlier, which and who in sentences one and three are interrogative pronouns because they begin the sentence to ask question. But which and who in sentences two and four are relative pronouns because they occur within the sentences to qualify the noun, pen and boy, respectively. In today's lesson, we have learned that a relative pronoun is described as the pronoun used to mark as start of a relative adjectival clause. They normally follow the immediate noun. They qualify in the middle of a sentence. Some of the relative pronouns include who, which, whom, whose, what, and when. We shall learn more in our next class. Bye for now.